So this morning we're at the C.R. Smith Museum. This is actually the American Airlines Museum here at uh, DFW Airport, or just outside. First time here, uh, it's not big, but we're excited to go check this out and show it off to you. So a lot of people may not know about the C.R. Smith Museum. This is actually sort of the official American Airlines History Museum. It's just outside DFW Airport. It's only open a couple days a week. Um, I honestly hadn't even heard about it, but thought this would be a, a really neat. We're here for just a few hours and hey, it's a quick stop off. Scheduling just happens to work out. It's uh, $9, $9.50 a person to come on in and check it out. Uh, so we're going to take you on in with us and, and show it off. So as you walk up here, the entrance is actually just to the side of the big huge window. And we'll kind of take you up. You can see the back side of the American Airlines logo. And you can see my wife walking ahead of me. She's left me already. <laughs> no. uh, actually, it's 20 degrees outside here today. So she's heading on to try to go get warm while we walk up. Uh, but kind of excited about this. I know that there's a few planes in it, but I don't know a whole lot else. But as you kind of walk around, there is your actual entrance to the museum. And of course, we are still in a time of COVID. Um, I think officially it says the masks aren't required, but strongly encouraged. So we will have our masks on. Um, we give you a little bit of a look around. Museum entrance. Ooh, cockpit experience. Maybe I can crash, I mean, fly a plane. As you come in, the gift shop is right up here near the entrance. This is also where you may be checking in uh, to get your tickets. They've got some fun things in here. Uh, some great kids books and stuff. And you can actually see through the window. That is the check-in counter out there. Uh, they do have a movie that they show. Um, all sorts of fun stuff here. Some great bumper stickers. Oh, look at the models. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so if you're a plain nerd, this is going to be your spot. Some of these, these are really neat. And then um, a couple of the shirts here are, I think, are just absolutely hilarious. So you got this one. <laughs> there. And then, of course, if, if you work as flight crew, you will totally understand that. So, but we're gonna head on in and check out the museum. This is the entrance, you can kind of see. This is a, a neat globe. It actually shows you all the different locations they fly. And it, it's actually tracking flights. So you can kind of see all the different planes here. And then the theater where they sh uh, show a movie called Why I Fly is right in here. Uh, we will come back for that. I can't show you the movie, obviously. But, uh, neat lobby. This is just really cool. <laughs> With this globe, you've actually got these two touch screens here. And you can pick and choose. So you can see planes in flight. And you can see all of these different planes. This is neat. So that's your flights going on right now. The videos that it has, you've got traffic flow. It'll pass. I'm just some really neat things here. And my wife is going, ooh, I wanna see. <laughs> so here's a look at the theater. Um, I love that they use old first class airplane seats for it. Uh, they obviously use it also as a lecture hall, but the movie they show called Why We Fly um, is basically it's a collection of snippets from airline employees who talk about why they got into it and, and um, it really kind of a neat video. So if you're here, Make sure you stop and see the movie. Definitely worth it. And hey, you get to ride first class along the way. So here's your actual entrance into the museum. Look at these models. And it almost, it's, they're a timeline of passenger flight too, because you can just see you going from props, some of the first jets. Oh my, is that a DC-10, I believe? I remember flying on those things. They were not comfortable. <laughs> and it just goes right on in. 
and some really neat things in here. Look at all the uniforms. How cool. Captain's hats. Oh, wings. Okay, so these are actually real pilot's wings. But anybody else remember the days when if you were a kid, you actually got a free set of wings on the plane? I just want you to take a look and see. We love our computers, right? That is a pilot's computer. Um, it doesn't look quite the same, does it? <laughs> this is actually a, a really neat display for those of us who don't fly. It actually kind of walks you through the steps as they get ready to take off, do the flight, some of the routes. And yeah, just one of these things. And hey, you want to know what it's like in a cockpit? Um, well, we can find out here. I love that it's got the old classic American paint job on it. Okay, so who wants to be a pilot? Oh, I love this. This actually looks almost like it was taken right off of a plane. I think it was. Because that's your uh, flight attendant seat. <laughs> they actually chopped the plane. If, uh, this is because, I mean, there's your galley stuff. The flight attendant seat, and then you can just walk right on in. How cool is this? Oh, from an okay, this is the MD 80. Yeah, I've been on those too. So, we're gonna sit down and uh, let's see what they do. So, I'm gonna let my wife come in, take a seat, and I'll let her push the big red button. Don't push the big red button, push the big red button. The Hello, I'm Captain Kent Ween. I used to fly the MD-80 out of New York. And in fact, cool. I flew this particular airplane from Chicago to Fort Lauderdale and then on to Dallas-Fort Worth. Today, I'd like to wow. just point out a few of the quirks and some of the features of the MD-80. Each time you press the button on the center console, a special feature of the cockpit will be highlighted. So, push the button and we'll get started. Push the button! <laughs> Oh, this is actually if you really look cool. in front of you, you'll have the yoke, which is essentially a steering wheel for the airplane, That's like in your car. This. Turning it to the left rolls the airplane to the left, and turning to the right rolls it to the right. That's you pull back, the airplane climbs, and if you push forward, the airplane descends. It doesn't we move. We would generally use the autopilot for most of the flight. However, for takeoff and climb out, we would hand fly the airplane, and also for the approach and landing. Three days later. So that actually is the cockpit taken off of an MD-80. Um, it, it just really neat, really fascinating. Um, but give you a little bit of an idea of some of the rest. And again, all these models, look, a 747. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm not a plane nerd, but the fact that I can actually recognize a few of these, I, I feel almost proud of myself. Uh, they've also got flight attendant uniforms over the years. This is kind of the more modern ones. But I, I love looking at some of these here. Gee, can you tell where the uh, 60s were? They're just missing go-go boots. <laughs> yeah, see the 40s, they look classy. And then like so you hit the 60s and it's just like, um, what's that? Poor girls. So the 747 was a, a cool plane. Uh, if you look above where it says American, you can almost see the little windows. They were actually two decks. Uh, years ago, when I was in high school and I flew uh, to China and stuff, our flight back from Japan, we were on a 747. That was like a third full at the time. Well, on our plane, that upper level was actually a lounge area. And because the plane was so empty, they allowed us to go up into the lounge and just take a look and everything. It was, it was really cool. But then you've also got all of these airline command centers, all interactive terminals to let you see how the people working at the desks, at the counters work. So when you want to know what it's like, you get multiple people. Very cool. This actually gives you a really neat look inside operations and why the airlines make some choices they do and uh, things like that. This is actually really cool. I'm, I'm learning a good bit just Ready doing this. Ready for another challenge? This okay. time we're dealing with ice storms. You want to try another scenario? Yes. 
yeah, this, this is really fun. Hey, look, it's Missouri. It's 7 p.m. on the night before a big ice storm. In an ice storm, aircraft are not allowed to take off. Yeah. According to the forecast, the storm will hit American Airlines' largest hub, DFW, at Dallas Fort Worth at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. You need to decide. Does the airline cancel all flights in advance? So, uh, what's the answer? You got to come here and find out. So, here's more of the flight attendant uniforms throughout the history, all the different ties. That's kind of cool. Route maps. Looks and then as you go on from here, you can see there's engines and we've actually got an airplane up this direction. There's so much more to see. We get more of the displays. This is kind of the mechanics section. Some more tools. And then of course, uh, because American did lose two planes, as I recall, on 9-11. They got the memorial here as well. But they've also got a luggage stacking area. They got a kids play area over here as well. It really, it's a really neat museum. So you can see they've got a class going on there. Uh, something with employees don't know exactly what but they've got a lot more displays here going through the history of aviation talking about uh, different aspects of it different timelines and just a really neat set of displays uh, you get to see the engines a couple different ones over here uh, play with aircraft maintenance see what flying was like at the time it was a luxury and then yes they do have the American flagship on display that you walk through which we will do that here in a few minutes so this particular board here actually tells the story of American Airlines uh, from the beginning and C.R. Smith who was the president of American for from 1934 um, and he was involved with the airline all the way up until 1974 but you can see why he's the one that they've named the museum after, and how he helped build the airline. Uh, what is that? So this would have been a DC-3. Imagine flying. Try to get your carry-on suitcase in that. <laughs> And then the galley is up in here. Margaret's, I guess, getting ready to serve us. This is something that's actually really cool that um, I almost walked past. If you are an American Airlines employee, um, retiree, or if you've got some sort of involvement with the airline, you can actually come in and they invite you to record your story, your history, testimony of working for the airline, why you did, what you did, and uh, add it to the archives. You don't have to have worked for the airline. If you want, you can come in, you can touch the screen, say that no, you are not. Do you give them permission? And then they will let you get started. So that's really neat. So if you've got family, friends, or you just have a neat story, even though you didn't work for American, you can still add it to the archives. Very cool. So I have to say, we really had no idea what we were going to experience when we came inside. And it was so cool, so neat. If you're into aviation, planes, airlines at all, you're gonna love this. Even if you're not, you're gonna find it fascinating. Uh, just so much to see in it. Uh, the history of the airline, uh, what it's like to work for an airline, uh, and just a lot of little things that uh, really caused by surprise, but we had an absolute blast with. If you've got time, you're near DFW, you definitely want to come here to the C.R. Smith Museum. It's absolutely worth the stop. It's about $9.50, I believe, for admission. Uh, 
check the schedule online. It's only open a couple days a week right now, but that may change. Uh, so definitely watch out for that. But if you've got time, it's worth coming to spend a couple hours, uh, hour to two hours, depending upon what you're doing. Uh, well worth the stop. You'll definitely want to do that. So again, it's called the C.R. Smith Museum here. Uh, it's actually in Grapevine officially. Uh, but neat place. Hope you enjoyed riding along with us and checking everything out. Uh, in fact, you can actually hear airplane right overhead. They're taking off here from DFW. Uh, thank you so much to my patrons uh, for making stuff like this possible and being able to share it with you because uh, just a neat stop. So, and thank you so much for watching. God bless. Uh, hope. So. <laughs> so.